Good morning. Today is May 6th. It's currently 5.56 a.m. in Southern California. This morning I'm going to be teaching on Fire for Purification, Chapter 2, from uh, the book Refiner's Fire, from Ashish Rashur from um, All People's Church, India. Uh, again, this is the book cover for the Refiner's Fire, All People's Church, Ashish Rashur, India. Um, yesterday... We, uh, we we read and we discussed uh, the refiner at work, and um, today we are going to discuss in chapter two, fire for purification. Let, let us begin. Psalm chapter 51 verse 6 says, Behold, you desire truth in your inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. So, Psalm 51, verse 6 says, Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Fire is a symbol of purification. It maintains purity and cleanliness. Again, fire is a symbol of purification. It maintains purity and cleanliness. When the people of Israel went to war and brought back their bounty, God instructed them that everything that could stand fire should be passed through the fire. He said, everything that can endure fire, you shall put through the fire and it shall be clean. Numbers chapter 31 verse 23. Fire therefore has a purifying effect on whatever is passed through it. So I want you to repeat after me say, I will pass through the fire in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible teaches us that God desires truth in the inward parts. Um, so it's our inner man. So basically that what he's saying is that... Um, it, it, we need the Holy Spirit to be able to go into our inner parts, our inner man. Um, deep, deep, deep. The Bible says that the, the deep cries out to deep. So we need to allow um, the Holy Spirit to go. Because the Holy Spirit is actually, he, he reveals the truth. He, he, is a, he, is a, uh, he is a messenger of the spirit of truth. So everywhere the spirit, Holy Spirit would go, he's going to, it, it, darkness will be exposed wherever the Holy Spirit is, is allowed. He, um, the Holy Spirit, uh, you must invite the Holy Spirit and, and invite Him into um, into everything that you're doing in, in your daily life, in, uh, where your workplace, um, in, in your relationships with your friends, um, in your marriage, uh, your 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 ministries, your church. Uh, the Holy Spirit needs to be present. Um, why? Because, uh, well, we need to burn that, burn the, uh, the chaff, right? The iniquity and anything that's, um, that's trying to hide that hasn't been dealt with in our life. Um, everything needs to be dealt with, called, called out to the, called out and, um, and cast out in Jesus name. Um, so truth in the Hebrew means certainty. Certain certainty, um, stability, stability and trustworthiness. So truth in Hebrew means certainty, stability and trustworthiness. It conveys a sense of dependability, um, firmness and reliability. God wants people with these qualities. A people of truth, people who can be entrusted with the eternal riches of the kingdom. Um, so people who can be depended on to stand for God in this day and hour. So God is looking for a, a, a people, a remnant, who he can, who he, he can depend on, um, who he can not only depend on in, in the natural, but also in the supernatural. Um, people are just ignorant. They're, they're just ignorant. Um, uh, they're ignorant. The Bible, the Bible even says that people are ignorant of the devices, right? That fly by day. So 
they're just ignorant because they don't know any better uh, because they don't they, they choose not to even try to find out they just they it, see it, the number one sin is not believing on Jesus Christ that's that's the number one sin um, it's it's sin not to believe on Jesus it's it's sin it's and um, unfortunately there's gonna be many people in the world that don't believe on Jesus that that are depending on and de believing in their, their their own themselves basically um, their jobs their their money their bank accounts um, you know and with without God without Jesus uh, there would be no job there would be no bank account there would be no breath um, because everything ca comes from God and everything is ca came from God God created the heavens and the earth um, and uh, so that this is why uh, it's sin to um, to not to believe on Jesus is not to praise him and not to thank him for everything that we have um, we need to be grateful and we need to be thankful in all things um, so people that are ignorant that don't know better um, you know instead of uh, mocking them or, 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 or speaking down to them or or word cursing them um, we need to be praying for them forgiving them uh, and blessing them amen amen um so it says here when the people of god sinned and wandered in wickedness um so so yeah so if this was a reality um in the past when it says when the people of god uh sinned and wandered in wickedness um this is still happening today people of god are sinning and wandering in wickedness there it's not that they're falling short of God there's many people of God who are actually down uh, right sinning and wandering in wickedness wandering in the world looking like the world they're not looking like like uh, they're not they're not being set apart they're not washing their hands their hands are full of wickedness full of sin and blood bloodshed so God said, I will turn my hand against you and thoroughly purge, refine away your dross. Um, if you are a real child of God, if you are truly born again, uh, you will not get away. You will not get away without consequences to your sin unless you repent uh, immediately, turn from your darkness, turn from your sin, wash your hands cleanse your heart and purify your mind um and that's what this is all talking about and um in, in isaiah chapter 1 verse 25 where he says i'll turn my hand against you and thoroughly purge refine away your dross and take away all your alloy in this context dross at, and alloy speak figurative, figuratively of sin um so whenever you hear dross or alloy in the bible it's always it's talking about sin um and purge means to uh, refine, right? To allow God to purge, and so it's it's one thing to hear to hear conviction and to be to be rebuked, and it's another thing to actually uh, take it and uh, do something with it, and which is to allow the Holy Spirit to consume it um, and and bow down before God and allow that idol or whatever that that idol is in your life to be removed. Um, you know, if, if, if anything that you're doing before God uh, is idolatry, um, is a form of idolatry. Um, the first thing you should be doing in the morning is thanking God. Thanking God for your breath. Thanking God for another day. Why? Not not for the ability to go to work and make money. Not for the ability to, to, to eat and to have nice things. It's for the ability... You want to thank God for the ability to be able to be a light in, in your community, to be uh, a blessing to those around you, to be um, to be a, a disciple of Jesus Christ. This is why we need to be thanking God and be grateful and thankful for for not for what we don't have, but for the things that for what we do have. If we have breath and we have our health, that that you're you're a hundred miles ahead of of, of anybody else because. What you're doing is you're thanking him and you're giving him thanks and you're praising him. And that's how you enter the gates of heaven. That's how you enter into the Holy of Holies. You, the Bible says that we enter in with praise and we enter his courts with thanksgiving. So we want to constantly be thanking him and praising him in all things. Um, 
So in this context, I, like I said, dross and alloy speak figuratively of sin. Once again, God uh, was using the symbolism of the refiner and his work to refer to the purification that uh, he would bring about his people, among his people. We see a similar statement in Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 6 and 7 read, Your dwelling place is in the midst of deceit. Um, you know, through deceit, they refuse to know me, says the Lord. Um, uh, therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will refine them and try them. For how shall I deal with the daughter of my people? Um, you know, we don't want to be in this in this uh, category. It says God said God brings His people through the fire, so that He can purify them and make them into people whose inward man is true. The psalmist prayed, "Create in me a, a clean heart, O God." In, in Psalm fifty-one, verse ten, this ought to be our prayer too, as we allow God to purify us and make us a people of truth. It is wonderful to read what the angel told Daniel concerning the end times. Many shall be purified, made white, and re and refined. Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. I want to be a part of, of the many who will be pur purified, made white, and refined. Um, I trust you, you do too. I want you, to I want you to repeat after me right now and say, um, say God, I want to be part of the, of the many who will be purified, made white, and refined in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I think that's it. Is that it? That is it. So, praise the Lord. Um, um, Today is going to be an amazing day. Um, we're going to uh, deny ourselves, right, and pick up our crosses and follow Jesus. Uh, we're going to be more than just hearers of the word today. We're going to be doers of the word. Um, we're, we're being made purified. We're being made perfect. We're being refined. Um, and we're, we're allowing the Holy Spirit to purge and reveal to us uh, the things that may be um, hindering our walk or hindering us from um, being all that we can be in Christ. Um, so, Father, my prayer today in the mighty name of Jesus is that you would continue to um, allow us to endure uh, in the fire, that um, you will um, see us through the fire, um, that we would come out the fire clean and set apart and purified, um, set apart from the world, that we would be part of the world, but we would not be in the world. We, would not, we will not associate with worldly things. We will not uh, watch worldly things. We will not listen to worldly things. But instead, we would come to um we will come to uh share the good news uh, which is that there is hope um that there is peace that there is joy and that there is a future in jesus christ amen